Um, now, as far as your arm action goes, it, I'll, I won't lie, dude. It kind of looks funky. Like you, you kind of start, you know, with your hand extended, um, and then you kind of go out. I never really teach anyone to go out. I don't want that hand to cross a certain line in which you start, right? So if you start your hands here, I think those hands should could should just stay in that line, right? So if when you drop into this fall here uh, into your your hip rotation, if you can keep your elbows, and this is just totally opinionated here, dude. You don't have to do this. I'm not going to program anything for this. I don't think it's your biggest component, but maybe think about like delaying that handbrake, getting your body to start going forward earlier. Okay. And now we can delay the hands. And now we can get you to a point where you're already boom into this kind of arm flexion. Like you're in here the whole entire way. Because I fear that when we drop our hands behind us like this, okay, that just decreases the amount of acceleration that our body can potentially have into front foot strike because now our hand has to go from like a ton of different points all the way into our retraction and now all the way back up into release. So that's a lot of moving parts. And I fear that more often times than not, the body limits it, the body limits the acceleration potential because of the hand having to travel so much distance into its release. Thank you so much for watching that video. Be sure to check out those videos right there that are related to the video that you just watched. Subscribe or we are going to arm wrestle. Your analysis, click that right there.